Hey folks, Joseph Isabora here. It's Christmas. Get around the holiday season with your friends and family on a nice warm Christmas dinner as well as singing Christmas songs, even decorating the house and Christmas tree. <laughs> and go outside, you know, have fun making snow angels, build a snowman, do whatever you want. You know, buy some gifts for all your families out there and friends and don't open them until Christmas. <laughs> well anyway, I'm about to review a holiday comedy classic that I really love and I never get tired of it. It's called National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Not only is this one of my favorite Christmas movies, but it's also one of my favorite vacation sequels next to National Lampoon's Vacation. Uh, European Vacation and Vegas Vacation are decent. I'll give you that. We also had a sequel to this, yeah, with Cousin Eddie and his family that came out in 2003, which is a TV movie. Definitely not worth it, if you ask me. And of course, we had the 2015 reboot or sequel of Vacation. Not worth it either. <laughs> but this had became one of my favorites of all time. The first time I saw this movie was back in 1990. Uh, we rented this at an old independent video store uh, called Full Throttle. Because we used to rent a lot of movies over there. This was before Blockbuster and all the rest. It was always fun. I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Especially with all the the wacky, uh, crazy f scenes that they had in this film. Uh, as well as all the funny dialogue. I mean, you just can't get enough of it. And I love the fact that um, now we have the, the classic... Uh, movie poster where we just see Chevy Chase as Clark Griswold just uh, he's all electrocuted with all the presents and he's dressed up as Santa Claus <laughs> and he's like on top of the roof yeah this is also holographic as well I just picked this up uh, at Target just recently as a Target exclusive and even though it's packaged as a, a 2006 Blu-ray release, as we know. Keep this in mind, and there's proof, is that this is actually the 2015 remastered version of the same film that they got as an exclusive to Best Buy that's under their steel books that has uh, a DVD included. So I'll give you some proof here. Uh, once they open it, yep. If you see the um, the red disc, this is the remastered version. So you don't have to worry about it if you haven't picked up uh, the movie. So you don't have to go to Best Buy just to pick up the steel book if you don't want, and you just want to have this on a regular case. So even though it's an Eagle Box case, but you can replace it. Yeah. And also, uh, this had all the postcards. Um, let's see if I can try to open it right now. <laughs> uh, so if you can excuse me for a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, cause this, this gets a little difficult to open. Uh, so here's... Um, there's only free postcards included for the Target exclusive. Here's the Griswold family. It says, Happy Holidays. The Griswolds. And it says, and here's Clark Griswold <laughs> wearing his Santa cap. And it says, Have a hap, hap, happiest Christmas. <laughs> and, and here's where he de decorated uh, the house filled with so many lights. <laughs> it says, I dedicate this house to the Griswolds family Christmas. Yeah, he had a difficult time trying to uh, light it up, but he did at the end. 
Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, okay. But it's always been such a classic movie. Um, I always enjoyed it. And let's get right to it. It stars Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, Julia Lewis, Johnny Galecki, John Randolph, Diane Ladd, E.G. Marshall, Doris Roberts, Randy Quaid, Marion Flynn, along with Cody Berger, Ellen Hamilton Lezen, William Hickey, Sam McMurray, Nicholas Guess, Jewel Lewis Dreyfus from Seinfeld, Natalia Nagoslich, and Brian Dahl Murray. It's written by John Hughes and it's directed by Jeremiah S. Chichik. The movie begins where only Christmas is just a few weeks away. The Griswold family decided to pick up the perfect Christmas tree with Clark Griswold along with his wife Ellen, their daughter Audrey, and their son Rusty decided to drive all the way out of country just to find the perfect tree. But unfortunately they got cut out by an idiot driver and then they wound up uh, driving underneath uh, a truck <laughs> and then once they got out of it they wound up crashing into the Christmas tree lot. So then they're just walking over a few feet of snow for miles just to find uh, the perfect tree which they just got a huge one unfortunately Clark forgot to bring in the axe to cut it down so they just force it uphill and just put it onto the car as they drive along all the way back to their house where we basically meet uh, nosy neighbors uh, the Chesters yeah, Todd and Margot <laughs> but soon after um, both Clark and Ellen's parents uh, had arrived to spend time during the whole entire Christmas vacation. But it begins to annoy the entire family that Clark decided to maintain to have a fun old-fashioned family Christmas by actually uh, uh, decorating 25,000 twinkle Christmas lights throughout the entire house. But he was basically having trouble with it uh, once he was stapling all these lights like suddenly his his coat got caught tried to rip it off and and then um, he was trying to go up on top of the roof and he, he slits out <laughs> part of that part just uh, slid out and wants up straight into the the Chester's uh, window of their house <laughs> of course you know a lot of wacky things starts to happen to their place you know, it's once they're next door to them. <laughs> now, at first, um, it failed to work. But then he realized that he accidentally uh, switched them into the garage uh, light switch. So once they turn on the light, um, I know they keep turning it on and off accidentally. That's where it began to come on. And then it, it just turned off again. And then he just got so furious that he decided to... The tr to cut, he decided to kick the the Santa Claus along with uh, all the <laughs> all the reindeer uh, sleighs that that he had <laughs> until they finally turned on the switch and now it finally works. So he was pleased along with the rest of the family. <laughs> so then cousin Eddie arrived uh, along with his family and they just got around to spend time too. Also, Clark was beginning to find out um, about his um, his Christmas bonus that he's about to receive because his boss hasn't uh, given it yet. And his boss, of course, is, is Frank Shirley, one of the meanest bosses ever. But uh, it only, yeah, mostly because he wanted to be able to save that bonus to actually earn enough money to to build a swimming pool in his backyard so that way they can have fun you know swimming and you know having a, their own pool party and everything so that was his uh, 
biggest surprise that he won for the whole entire family. So, anyway. So, they they basically decided to have fun. You know, they, they wound up uh, <laughs> sledding down. And, yeah, one, one of my favorite moments was when the clock was started to sled down all the way <laughs> down into the, the hill. And, and <laughs> And he went really fast too. Like it's just suddenly he speeds up like like he's road runner and, and he's having trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's like knocking everyone out of out of the way and then he went all the way straight down to a local Walmart and crashes into the <laughs> into the uh mostly one of those Christmas dumpsters they just use so you just you know, for charity, you know, that that's where he just knocks all the way down <laughs> into that steep hill. <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> it's just hilarious. So anyway, once Christmas had finally arrived at well this right Christmas Eve, you know, they just spent time, you know, then all of their other families have came around and yeah, they even brought in the a cat which they wrap him up uh in a box. <laughs> then they begin to notice that um, the turkey suddenly <laughs> suddenly got dried and, and then you know they, they notice that all the food that they're eating were all crunchy. Yeah and then, then they, they yeah they also realize that the jello actually has uh, cat food all around. Uh, but then same, things just seem to go wrong once, um, yeah, once uh, Lewis suddenly uh, smokes a cigar and actually burns uh, the entire Christmas tree. Um, and that was actually after, um, yeah, uh, Clark actually began to find out that the Christmas lights wasn't on, on the Christmas tree, because it was unplugged. And then, then the cat was basically chewing on the <laughs> on the Christmas lights and then when he plugs it in the cat suddenly got electrocuted <laughs> underneath the chair <laughs> so it it just killed him completely <laughs> I know I know it's it, it's it's kind of cruel right there but you gotta admit it was really funny because because it's supposed to be cartoonishly uh, hilarious and if things didn't get any much worse than that, um, his Christmas bonus suddenly arrived uh, at the door completely late uh, from his uh, company. So he begins to, um, hoping that this was going to be the best of him and for the entire family, that he was hoping this would be the Christmas bonus that he's been waiting for all this time from his boss. But then it turns out to be a three-year membership of the Jelly of the Month Club. And that's when Clark suddenly snaps while drinking some, <laughs> some nice uh, cold uh, eggnog and begins to say one of his biggest rants in movie history, and I really love this rant, was when he says, Hey, if any of you are looking for any last-minute gifts ideas for me, I have. I like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. I want him brought from his happy holiday slumber over there on Melody Lane with all the other rich people, and I want him brought right here with a big ribbon on his head, and I want him to look straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap line, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant. Blood sucking, duck kissing, brainless, dickhead, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotted lip, worm headed, sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah, holy shit. Where's the title? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember. But that was one of the funniest rants that he ever said, and, and that's when he just got so, uh, you know, so gun crazy that he decided to take out the, the Christmas tree from next door and just decorate it and by just using his chainsaw and, and cut it out and now he finally got 
a brand new Christmas tree. And then, and then suddenly, um, Cousin Eddie suddenly kidnaps uh, Frank Shirley. <laughs> and that's when he begins to find out what, what's going on. But, yeah, Clark was basically apologizing to his boss because he begins to find out what he did. I mean, even though all of this was his fault. But they, they make it up for it, even though uh, Frank had had told him about about what just happened. So now he'll, even though he made a, a big mistake, so now he'll, he finally gets his bonuses uh, back along with the rest of the workers out there. That is until all the SWAT team had came and, <laughs> and trashes into uh, both uh, his house and in the Chester's house, yeah, which I know they've been going for a lot of crazy s shit around here. <laughs> so, but in the end, you know, everything turns out uh, fine for them. So now they, they had a wonderful Christmas. Well, you know, well, you see Santa all the way up on the sky into the moon, which I know it turns out that it was just, uh, it was just the... Uh, <laughs> The sand sleigh and 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 the the reindeers all from the from the Christmas decorations of the house. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, it was one of the funniest movies uh, ever made when it came out back in December first, nineteen eighty nine, <clears throat> and it definitely is one of my favorites of all the vacation franchise of all time. Uh, it's just hilarious. It really is. Um, uh, I love the moments when uh, when Clark just went to a department store and suddenly meets uh, a woman. Yeah, the employee that yeah, you know, where he was just looking for some lingerie and, and all this other stuff for <laughs> yeah for his wife and and apparently uh, she begins to uh, show you the the line that that um, that she had yeah cuz it almost looked like she didn't have any panties that she's wearing so they basically show like her thigh and they just show the uh, the wax line <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> his son uh, Rusty suddenly s <laughs> sees it it's just yeah plus Clark is already feeling uh, he's just he's always like nervous every time he, he he's he spots a, uh, a a sexy, beautiful woman. It's kind of like in in the uh, the original movie uh, Vacation, and when he suddenly fantasizes and, and spots a beautiful woman, you know, driving around the road. Yeah, that was Christy Brinkley, by the way. Um, but this one, it's um, it's a different woman this time. And also, there was a moment where he fantasized uh, her in the. Uh, and a red swimsuit. Yeah, she takes off her swimsuit and dives in all naked. <laughs> Until, um, you know, Cousin Eddie's his daughter suddenly interrupts him. Thinking that, you know, if, if Santa was going to come or not. Yeah, that was really funny. Oh, wow. Um, and, of course, who couldn't forget the, the moments with... Um, the Chesters, you know, because a lot of crazy shit starts to happen to them. Like, once uh, they light up um, the Christmas lights uh, at the Griswold's house, <laughs> I mean, the lights were so bright that it's almost as brighter than the sun. <laughs> so it, it really blinded them, too. And, yeah, and also, you know, a lot, there's always a lot of crazy thing happening, too, once they brought in the other, the other tree. <laughs> they found uh, outside uh, there was a squirrel inside and, and then it pops up and and it, and it was chasing around uh, along with the dogs and you know the dog was chasing the, the squirrel around you know even the squirrel was on <laughs> Clark's back and they're trying to, to kill it and and then suddenly uh, Margo just came in and and then <laughs> And then the squirrel suddenly jumps on on her along with the dog, and <laughs> yeah, because unfortunately um, her husband uh, Todd didn't want to go in 
I have to, f to go face and face. And once uh, <laughs> she came back inside the house, uh, that's when <laughs> she punches Todd in the face. Oh man, it's just hilarious. Uh, it's, uh, the cast was great, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, the parents are, are just fun. You know, it, there's just a lot of uh, wacky moments, uh, all, all cartoonish, uh, all the way around. Uh, I also love the theme song that they got, too, with that really great uh, animated sequence that they used, which they had uh, Santa Claus you know, just coming in, even though he's basically accident prone, so he just uh, <laughs> began to send all the presents inside the, their house. <laughs> with the song the Christmas Vacation by Mavis Staples. Yeah, it's a great song. There was also a wonderful moment when he got stuck uh, up on the attic. Yeah, because because uh, unfortunately uh, Francis suddenly uh, closes the, the attic door. So he tried to find a way to get out. But then he gets knocked over by, by these two 4x4 um, four four, uh, boards. And then he was just watching the, an old film that he found, which is uh, back in the day when he was very young. He had uh, a wonderful Christmas, and he was watching the entire uh, film until all the family had came back. You know, they they just left uh, just to get some gifts, and then then his wife Ellen uh, opens the <laughs> the attic door, and then he falls all the way down. <laughs> It was just that was hilarious, and I always remember the uh, that great moment, uh, which has a lot of great dialogue, such as uh, when cousin Eddie arrives. Uh, this is where he says, "You surprised to see us, Clark?" And Clark says, "Oh, Eddie, if I woke up tomorrow with a head sold to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am now." <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, the Blu-ray that I picked up, which it's right over here, though. I just put it on, on top of my bed. This is the 4K remaster that I got. And it actually looks spectacular on Blu-ray. Um, since I never did own the previous release. So I'm pretty certain that the previous release had uh, an open matted format, which is basically taken from its DVD transfer that they got. They, they just use it here. So this time they really improved it, but unfortunately the it, it is a little cropped. But I think it looked a lot better than than what it was back then. So, but I'm just happy that it is the 4K remaster that I've been waiting for. So I now I know why I haven't been picking this up on Blu-ray the whole time, but I'm just happy because I was stuck with the HBO recording of the film a long time ago. Check out the movie. I mean, it, it's a fun comedy. You'll love it. <laughs> so anyway, I give National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. And Merry Christmas. Bye.